Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. In this review, I'm going to start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data. I'll also take it for a thorough drive and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, and let her run. A huge thanks to Lamborghini Carolinas of Greensboro, North Carolina for providing this example today. For more information about the dealership, including contact info and current inventory, please feel free to check out their website. You'll find it in the description box below. Performante is a specialized breed of supercar that's designed to maximize all facets of performance, both on the road and the track. What makes it unique amongst the competition is not necessarily what it's able to do, but how it's able to do it. Every part of the Suricon has been reworked in one way or another. Before diving into all of the specifics, let's first talk about aerodynamics and weight savings. The Uricon's frame is a hybrid of aluminum and carbon fiber, while the body is a combination of aluminum and forged composite. Forged composite in a nutshell is chopped carbon fibers in a resin that allows for the creation of lightweight, complex geometric shapes that simply would not be possible using traditional carbon composite materials. On the Performante, it was used in the front splitter and rear wing, the engine cover, rear bumper, rear diffuser, and several interior components. Together with a lighter exhaust system, net weight savings over a standard Oricon is about 88 pounds. With any car of this caliber, aerodynamics are especially important. The trick is finding an ideal balance between downforce and drag. The Performante adopts a new active aerodynamics system known as Aerodynamica Lamborghini Attiva, or ALA for short. It's a patented system developed by Lamborghini to provide active variation of aero load for high downforce or low drag, so you're getting the best of both worlds, ideal airflow for handling and straight line acceleration. The front splitter integrates an electric motor that operates a pair of flaps on the top exterior surface. When closed, they're partially blocking air from traveling underneath the car, creating an area of high pressure that presses down on the splitter. If less downforce is needed, the flaps remain open to reduce drag by allowing air to pass through to the underbody. The other major component of ALA is the rear wing. Instead of tilting up and down like traditional active systems, this wing is fixed. Look a little closer and you'll see that the wing is hollow. Not only that, but the struts that it sits on are also hollow. The engine cover is designed around four ducts. The two central ducts are always open to promote underhood ventilation and exhaust cooling. The two outer ducts are connected to the inner channels of the wing. Airflow through these channels is controlled by a pair of electrically operated flaps similar to what's used in the front splitter. When ALA is off, the flaps remain closed, permitting the wing to act as a traditional fixed wing to enhance stability during high-speed cornering and braking by developing a significant amount of downforce. In high throttle conditions where straight line acceleration and top speed is priority, the flaps automatically open, allowing air to travel through the inner channels before being directed out through ridges underneath the wing, subsequently reducing drag. If that's not enough, the wing is internally split into left and right sides, making it possible to regulate downforce on each side of the wing independently. Depending on the direction of your turn, ALA can selectively increase downforce on the inside wheel to increase traction and help rotate the car through a corner. This aero vectoring technique is fascinating to say the least. All in all, the Performante can generate up to 770 pounds of downforce at 193 miles per hour, quite a bit more than your standard Huracan. The behavior of the front and rear flaps depends on vehicle conditions and driving mode. They can also open and close in about half a second for near instantaneous results. 
Perhaps the most important thing to take away from ALA is that, while it may sound complicated, it's a seemingly simple solution that yields fantastic results while weighing 80% less than a traditional hydraulic system. Pricing for the 2018 Nuracon Performante, including destination, starts at $277,885. This example is equipped with an impressive list of options, all of which I've listed in the description box below. As tested price is $335,385. The Performante is available with seven different wheel options, all of which are forged from aluminum and measure 20 by 8.5 inches in front and 20 by 11 inches in the rear. Two of the wheel options feature central locking hubs. Track-oriented Pirelli P0 Corsa tires are included as standard equipment. Measuring 245.30 in front and 305.30 in the rear, they were developed specifically for this car and provide a significant boost in grip over the standard P0s found in the base Huracan. However, for even more grip, you can also order the optional P0 Trofeo R tires. Cross drilled and internally ventilated carbon ceramic disc brakes are standard. Up front, the discs measure 15 inches in diameter, while the rear discs measure 14 inches. They're paired to 6 piston and 4 piston calipers, respectively. While the general setup hasn't changed, the Performante receives bespoke ABS programming that offers improved brake pedal feel and stops from 62 miles an hour in about 101 feet. All Oricons feature electromechanical power steering, with the option of Lamborghini Dynamic Steering, or LDS, which actually has the ability to vary the steering ratio. Both setups have been recalibrated for the Performante to increase response and driver feedback. The changes to LDS are said to be even more noticeable in Corsa mode thanks to significantly reduced steering ratio variation that provides a more direct response on the track. The Uricon's forged aluminum double wishbone suspension design also carries over to the Performante, but with a 7% better power to weight ratio, additional reinforcements were done to ensure everything stayed balanced. Primary changes include 10% stiffer spring rates, 50% stiffer suspension bushings, and thicker anti-roll bars that increase roll stiffness by 15%. The optional magnetorological dampers were also retuned to match the stiffer components. Together, the changes give the car a planted and secure feel. It's worth noting too that while ride quality is stiff, it never felt punishing, making it less of a chore to drive on less than perfect road surfaces. The adaptive dampers likely had a lot to do with that. The all-wheel drive system plays a huge role in keeping everything buttoned down. Unlike the standard Oricon, the Performante is not available with rear-wheel drive. Both the all-wheel drive and stability control systems have been reworked to place more control in the driver's hands. In a world of downsizing and forced induction, Lamborghini's 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 offers a unique character that is simply unmatched by anything else in this segment. The same could also be said about the new Audi R8, but despite the similarities between the two, the Lamborghini just feels more raw, more untamed. This is a car that appeals to your inner child. It's wildly entertaining to say the least. For duty in the Performante, the engine receives a host of upgrades that were inspired by the brand's Super Trofeo Motorsports program. The bronze intake manifold should be enough of a hint that this is something special. Forged composite engine covers further emphasizes weight reduction. Peak output is 631 horsepower at 8,000 rpm and 443 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 rpm. In comparison, a standard Oricon develops 602 horsepower at 8,250 rpm and 415 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 rpm. The hike in power allows the Performante to hit 60 miles an hour in about 2.8 seconds and reach a top speed in excess of 202 miles per hour. It's brutally fast and notably quicker than the standard car. All of the changes to the engine make it feel more responsive too. For starters, new lightweight titanium intake valves were added, along with new intake and exhaust camshafts. New low restriction intake and exhaust systems allow the engine to breathe easier and subsequently develop more power. The exhaust system in particular is not only more aggressive, but it accounts for about 25% of the car's total weight savings. The pipes are positioned higher in a more central position in the rear fascia as if to provide a more direct route for the gases to escape. The sound is unforgettable, especially in sport mode. 
harnessing all of that power is an updated 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. With incredibly quick shifts and almost zero interruptions in power, the DCT not only delivers the best performance possible, but it also adapts to your driving behavior, becoming sharper and more authoritative the harder you push it. The DCT supports both full auto or manual shifting via the forged composite paddles mounted to the back of the steering wheel. In Corsa mode, the car defaults to manual shifting. At the rear, there's a standard mechanical differential lock to control the delivery of torque between the rear wheels to improve traction as needed. A launch control system is also standard. With regards to fuel economy, the Huracan is rated between 14 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway, with an expected average of around 16 miles per gallon. Premium unleaded fuel is recommended. All Huracans carry a 21.9 gallon tank. The Performante's interior layout is identical to the standard car. It's designed to evoke the feeling of being in a fighter jet. Climb in and look around, you'll find a bank of toggle switches at the top of the center stack, a flip-up red cap over the starter button, and a fully digital reconfigurable instrument cluster. Here you won't find any leather, everything is covered in lightweight, dark-colored Alcantara fabric. Also, notice that the air vents, paddles, door handles, and the center console were all created from forged composite. The fit and finish is world class. The attention to detail is some of the best in the business, from the stitching to the laser etched Y graphics. Performance oriented sports seats featuring limited adjustments are standard, however, this example has the optional comfort seats. They offer full power adjustments, including lumbar for the driver and passenger. One thing that's really cool with being able to do all these videos is that I've been able to test drive just about everything in this segment and see just how much different all of the competitors are from one another. Sure, each are capable of mind-numbing performance in one way or another, but they all have very distinct personalities. The interiors are very distinct environments. You know, a Ferrari kind of traces its lineage back many, many years. A Lamborghini is new age, the fighter jet inspired, very aggressive, very technical. And a McLaren is very much futuristic. So, you know, everybody has their likes and dislikes, but you have to appreciate just how unique a lot of these cars are. Having the hands-on experience really allows you to see and understand why these cars cost what they cost and just how in-depth some of the personalization options can go. I really like how this interior is organized. Even though there's a lot of tech packed into here and it might take a minute to figure out where everything is, everything is focused towards the driver. It's all pretty simple to understand. You have a traditional control panel on the center stack for the infotainment system, but everything is routed through the instrument cluster. That means everything from audio to telephone to navigation, vehicle information, and even the backup camera is all within your direct line of sight. The climate controls are pretty cool too. The button in the center primarily serves to adjust temperature, but you can also use it to adjust fan speed and switch between the different zones. Heated seats are standard. As you adjust things, a visual confirmation shows up in the above display. In the top of the center stack, you'll find that row of toggles that I touched on earlier. You can control things like the power windows, the optional front end lift system, stability control, parking sensors, and hazards. To keep everything within easy reach of the driver, a lot of your primary driving functions, such as wipers, turn signals, and high beams, are located on the upper spokes of the steering wheel. Additional lighting controls can be found on the left side of the dash. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Woo! <laughs> 
in-depth look at how this thing sounds, including a comparison between the different drive modes, be sure to check out my Pure Sound video. The link can be found in the description box below and in the top right hand corner of this video. Alright, let's go ahead and shut her down. Last but not least, we'll head up front and check out trunk space. The words practical and supercar don't normally go hand in hand, but stacked up next to the Ferrari 488 GTB and the McLaren 720S, the Uricon has the least amount of cargo space at 3.53 cubic feet worth. The Ferrari has 8.1 cubic feet, and the McLaren, combining the front trunk and the space behind the seats, you have an astonishing 12.7 cubic feet. Now the Lamborghini does have easy access to fluid reservoirs, a roadside assistance kit, LED illumination, and even a 12 volt power outlet. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like and subscribe today, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.